Have you ever thought about where your produce comes from? Most grocery chains receive produce from various local and national farmers. In fact, there are about 3.4 million farmers in the United States today. But of that staggering number, only 45,000 are black farmers. At The Better Buggy, we are a proud group of Atlanta-based black-owned farmers, selling produce locally and nationwide. Our easy-to-navigate online platform makes it easy for you to make a one-time purchase or to simplify your life by subscribing to our weekly produce box. Whichever frequency you choose, you can order with confidence knowing you'll receive 100% organic farm fresh produce. If you're looking for a thoughtful gift for a loved one that they'd actually find useful, be sure to pop by our online store where you can snag a gift card your recipient can use to order their own produce and t-shirts. Ready to start supporting local black owned farms and making healthier food decisions? Visit thebetterbuggy.com now to start shopping. Good evening, everybody. I'm Mary Bubala. It has now been more than a month since Marilyn Mosby announced her office will permanently stop prosecuting certain crimes she describes as low level. Those crimes include drug possession, prostitution, trespassing, and open container. There you see the list. The move is partly an effort to allow the city to focus its resources on solving and preventing shootings and murders. But one former police leader believes Mosby's policy is preventing officers from doing their jobs. Rio Creighton joins us live with those concerns. Rio. And Mary, concerns that begin with policy changes, that, but they go even further than that. We spoke with the former head of Baltimore's police union earlier this week about what he believes is an anti-police narrative that is taking hold. But in Baltimore City, a climate that is worse than that because he says many officers also believe they're up against the state's attorney. We are no longer doing that in the city of Baltimore. More than a month in since state's attorney Marilyn Mosby's announcement, the crackdown on quality of life crime suspended to focus on serious offenses, and the pushback has been steady. How are you going to work up against those drug trafficking organizations that are pushing the violence if you can't start at that lower level? By phone, Bob Cherry, former president of Baltimore's police union, says Mosby's impact is larger than policy. There is fear among officers. Someone takes off running and it doesn't look well, meaning you don't find a gun, then you're going to be challenged. Why were you in that foot pursuit? You're going to have the state's attorney's office looking at, you know, your past record. How many use of force did you have? How many foot pursuits did you have? Reluctant to even initiate stops. I'm not going to take the initiative. Yes, I see someone on the corner who is, you know, showing characteristics of an odd person and engage them, which is why these criminals are more emboldened. There are more guns out there and the criminals are going to use them. It has to be some level of accountability. Marlo Hargrove works with ex-offenders and with Mosby's office. If officers worry they're being watched, he says that's a good thing. Looking at the um, actions of what police officers are doing, it gives them a, a different mindset when it comes to arresting people and African Americans, it lets them know that it's not going to be tolerated, so to speak. High profile policing incidents around the nation being used against them, Cherry says, has consequences. That narrative is always going to be revolving around race. You have liberal prosecutors like Marilyn Mosby who then take advantage of that and say that this is how policing is done everywhere. That's not true. Who's committing these 100 homicides? It's not law enforcement. And Cherry says fear of a new level of scrutiny, one factor in why they're not initiating sco uh, stops, which he says also means more guns, more criminals who are going to use them, just one factor in Baltimore's surging homicide rate. We're live tonight in North Baltimore, Riel Creighton, Fox 45 News. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, many of these police unions like the one in Maryland are just butt sore that Marilyn Mosby in, you know, in that state has made changes where they can't do as many petty arrests. And see, that's what the bulk of the arrests are in America. This is why you got so many non-violent crimes all crammed up in the jail, and it, it far outweighs the people that are in there for violent crimes. You know, America puts you in there for petty things and then try to act like they got all kinds of violent people in there. You know, that's what they do. That's what they have done all this time. So what she is doing is eliminating a lot of the petty reasons these cops will jail people and they're just butt sore about it. So 
every time they stare at somebody, they can't just go over there, arrest or murder that person. That's what their butt sore over. So this story came out on Fox 45 News. Mosby impact officers less likely to initiate stops, says former police union head. So, so now do your real job. Go get the real criminals. So this is May 2nd, 2021. More than a month since the state attorney, Marilyn Mosby, announced the crackdown on quality of life crimes would be suspended to focus city resources on more serious offenses and push back has been steady. So, you know, of course, it's the police union, which should not even exist. There should be no police union. Prostitution, drug possession, how are you going to work up against those uh, drug trafficking organizations that are pushing the violence if you can't start at the low level, Bob Cherry? That's garbage. That's garbage. Number one, there will be less violence if there are less cops. It happened up in New York when y'all said you weren't going to patrol certain areas because of the protests, the crime dropped after the cops left. Why is that? And see, now that she's making this move, the crime is going to start dropping in Baltimore. It's going to be less crime there because cops ain't going to be out there initiating all the trouble that they usually do. All right. So, He's upset over the effect of her not allowing them to do all these little low-level crimes because that is the majority of what they're bringing in, y'all. How is that keeping everybody safe? Okay, (laughs) it's not. So that's all their butt sore. They're just butt sore. They can't go after and plant their drugs and You know, if y'all remember the Baltimore police that were planning drugs, caught the whole damn thing on their own body cam, (laughs) planting drugs. Yeah, I think many of us remember that. You know, it will cut that kind of stuff out. You know, so since you're not going after those low level drug arrests, you won't have to worry about planting drugs. Yeah. So I don't feel bad for them. Let their asses whine. Let them whine. Because not having them do do the low-level crimes anymore where somebody ends up dead over a bunch of nothing, this will actually keep the city safe from the police. So to me, it was a good move that she made so they can't keep harping on these little remedial crimes and not go after the people that are the real problem in the city. So way to go, Marilyn Mosby. And a lot of you um, AGs need to do the same because these cops are, they're, they're, they're trumping up charges on people, uh, you know, just on drugs and stuff. And I can't even tell you over the years how many times I heard cops planning drugs and watching them plant drugs on, I've I've seen countless videos of cops planting drugs, planting guns and doing all that kind of stuff. Yeah, no, he's just mad because they can't continue to do those kind of things. But y'all, please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.